Hi buds, uh, it's Miss Angela back with you for another weekly music class. I hope everybody has had a great week. Um, and it occurred to me that you could uh, put comments, well, you could put comments, but requests in the comments um, of the video. So if you want to hear something, uh, let me know, especially for our mystery song. So that means like you can give me any request and then I'm gonna pull it out of a hat and see what it is. So we've got one of those this week from your requests that Miss Erica let me know about. Um, but yeah, you can communicate with me there and that will be really direct. Um, so teachers, you can let me know there. Parents, you can put um, requests in the comments on the videos themselves. So that'll be really easy. All right, so let's get started. Uh, let's do our hello song. We've got a lot of friends in the Buds classroom, so it may take a few minutes to get through it. Here we go. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? I'm gonna say hello to Evan. Hi, Evan. week and I hope everyone is doing and feeling great. Um, let's get up and move a little bit. So I thought we could um, do the dinosaur song. It's a good way for us to get up and move and stomp. Um, so yeah, remember this is one about where the dinosaurs march or you can stomp, you know, depending on where you are. Um, so let's go ahead and march. March, 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 march. about what dinosaurs eat. And in the classroom, we would I would ask everybody what they're eating. But we're not all together, so I want you to think about what you know about dinosaurs and what they might eat. Um, so some dinosaurs eat plants only, right? And we call those herbivores, so herbivores. Some dinosaurs only eat meat, so we call those dinosaurs carnivores. And then some eat both meat and plants and we call those omnivores. So you think about which kind of dinosaur you are and then get down on the ground. I stop and eat my food when we're in the mood. Stop and eat our food on the ground. We stop and eat our food when we're in the mood. Stop and eat
everybody back up. We are the dinosaurs marching, marching. We are the dinosaurs. What do you think of that? We are the dinosaurs marching, marching. We are the dinosaurs. We make the earth flat. We make the earth flat. All right, so now we're going to take a rest. So everybody lay down. We stop and take a rest over in our nest. Stop and take a rest at the end of the day. We stop and take a rest over in our nest. Stop and take a rest and then you'll hear us say that we of sleeping. We're going to do Sleeping Animal Song next. And this week, so we've done the river and we've done the African savanna was last week. So this week we're going to do the rainforest. So there's rainforests all over the world. And we're going to teach you some, I'm going to teach you some animals that live in the rainforest. So everybody goes to sleep and we'll start. In the rainforest, the quiet rainforest, the toucan sleeps tonight. In the rainforest, the quiet rainforest, the toucan sleeps tonight. And a toucan is a type of bird. So wake up and think about what kind of dance and sound a toucan might make. And go! snake dance. We Here we go. We
everybody back to sleep. This one's a fun one. In the rainforest, the quiet rainforest, the sloth sleeps tonight. In the rainforest, the quiet rainforest, the sloth sleeps tonight. Maybe you don't know what a sloth is, but look it up on the internet. They're super interesting. They hang from trees and I don't know if they make a sound. You'll have to let me know. So just get up and do whatever you want. That'll be a sloth band. So I thought I would um, introduce some of you to another animal, mainly because I saw one in our tiny backyard last week. So, oh no, it's over here. I was not prepared. Here we go. Maybe you've seen one of these around. Usually they only come out right before or right after the sun goes down. So does anybody know what this is? Some of you have seen it before. This is Pinky the possum and I named her Pinky because she's got pink feet, pink nose, and a pink tail. And possums have really strong tails so they can hang like this. So I wrote a little song about Pinky the possum. Here she goes. Pinky the possum's hanging from a tree. She swings back and forth happy as can be. She comes down at night time underneath the moon. She scurries around looking for food. And possums are really helpful because they eat mosquitoes and ticks and other insects, sort of like spiders, insects that we don't like so much um, or that can cause us harm. Possums will eat. When the sun rises, she goes back to bed. She swings from her tail to rest her pinky head. And that's Pinky. Okay, so it's instrument time. So if you want, if you're in the classroom, you can get out instruments, take a minute and pause the video if you need to. Um, if you're home, you can get instruments and you can really make anything an instrument, right? Uh, I thought our theme this week would be um, cars and trucks. So, uh, the first song we'll do is about a car. It's called Drive Me, Drive Me Car, Drive My Car um, by the Beatles, and I'll count you in. So if you want to practice your rhythm, you can continue counting. I'll keep continuing to count for a little bit so you get the rhythm. All right, one, two, oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Baby, you 
this next one is the truck song, or that's what some of you call it. It's called White Freightliner Blues by Towns Van Zandt. And it's about those really, really big trucks that you see on the highway or on the interstate that have the big uh, rectangles. Those are shipping containers that are full of stuff that are being shipped or being driven all around the country. So this is a fast one. If you want to dance, go ahead. If you want to play your instruments a little bit faster, I'll count with you a little bit in the beginning so you get the rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'm going out on the highway, listening to the big trucks whine. I'm going out on the highway, listening to the big trucks whine. Okay, so it is now time for our mystery song portion of our class, music class. And maybe you'll remember last week, My Beret. So remember the song Raspberry Beret from last week? This is my um, oatmeal colored beret. We could say that that's what that color is. Um, so Miss Erica gave me some requests. I wrote them all on little pieces of paper. And I'm going to reach in this hat and pull one out and see what I'm going to play for you. Let's see how far I'll go from Moana. I love this song. It's really good. I love Moana. It's a great, great movie. Um, so let's see how I do with this one. I've got the words behind it because I don't have it memorized. So I've got those words up, ready to go. All right, here we go. I've been staring at the edge of the water Long as I can remember Never really knowing why I wish I could be the perfect daughter But I come back to the water No matter how hard I try Every turn I take, every trail I track Every path I make, every road See the light where the sky meets the sea, it calls me. No one knows how far it goes. If the wind in my sail on the sea gets behind me, one day I'll know. If I go, there's just no telling how far I'll go.
There you go, our first real mystery song. Last week was just a tease because that wasn't any of the requests. So next week, it'll be a new mystery song. And if you have different requests that you'd like me to include in our mystery song um, time, uh, you can put that in the comments in this video and I will put them in my oatmeal colored beret. All right, so that was the last song of music class today. We'll always do mystery song um, before our goodbye song. So I thought we would do Adios Amigos and we'd start slow and get faster. All right, here we go. Adios Amigos. Adios Amigos. Adios.